This is a school safety video for staff on safe and secure schools presented by Robert Pazeller, School Safety Director of the Worcester Public Schools. Presentation overview. We will cover the following topics, securing school building doors, entering and exiting a school building, communicating within a school building, implementing the ALICE program, developing situational awareness and evacuating a school building. What are the procedures of entering a school building? All doors must be locked at the main entrance. Staff and visitors must enter and exit through the front door of the school building by either using an access control badge or ringing the intercom system. Upon entering, all visitors must sign in at the main office. What are unacceptable practices for entering and exiting a school building? Breach doors. Nobody should exit side doors or put any device in that door in order to keep it a job for their return. Garage doors. Should be closed at all times. Arrival and dismissal for students at side entrances. Schools are allowed to have parents drop off and pick up students at certain entrances if there is proper staff supervision at those entrances. Once the arrival or dismissal is complete, that respective door entrance must be shut and locked. Procedures for external vendors. Once vendors are signed in appropriately to a school building, garage doors and other delivery locations can remain open for that delivery under strict supervision. School building doors. A master key to all doors in the school building must be readily available when requested by proper school authorities or public safety personnel. Access control to enter school buildings. Some schools have ID badges that allow staff to enter buildings upon swiping it at a card reader. Reminders of unacceptable uses of an ID badge. Handing off ID badges. Here, take my badge to get in and out. This is a big no-no. Badges are for that one assigned person and that person only. Any violation of this procedure can result in loss of that badge. Also, if you lose that badge, please report it to the principal as soon as possible. 
Reminders of unacceptable uses of an ID badge. Teal gating. One person badges in, then holds the door for the people behind them. Yes, it's a courtesy, but a big no-no when it comes to security. School building and classroom doors. All school building doors must be locked at all times. For schools that have locks on their classroom doors, those doors must be locked during instruction time or can remain open with this door in a locked position. Communication devices in school buildings. Real-time sharing of information during the school day is essential. Every school needs to develop a communication plan to implement on a daily basis. Communication in school buildings occur through walkie-talkies, text messages, intercom systems, telephones in classrooms, and personal or school authorized cell phones. The Worcester Public Schools ALICE program elements and enhancements are designed to optimize Worcester Public Schools response to an intruder by providing an online course to prepare school staff to respond to a potential violent event, a hands-on ALICE training by Worcester Police Department certified ALICE instructors, age appropriate units of study for students, resources to classrooms for an ALICE response, a software program to allow staff to directly call or text 911 if there is a violent intruder in the building and mandated Alice drills in schools. Situational awareness, know your surroundings. Whenever you work in a classroom, office, or any other workspace, it is strongly recommended that you know your workplace surroundings. For example, ask yourself, when I come on campus every day, are the doors and other entrances secure? Where's the nearest exit to me in my workplace? What objects would be helpful to respond to a barricaded lockdown? How can I alert others in the building if something critical is taking place? Where is the location of the go bucket? Do I have objects in my drawer or immediately around me to use if I ever had to distract a violent intruder? What are other important things I need to be aware of every working day to keep myself and my school safe? Know your surroundings and available safety resources. Your communication device. The evacuation plan. The ionization unit and other objects to be used as an enhanced barricade object. Window for emergency exit route. In your go bucket with safety supplies in it. Evacuation route. 
Whenever evacuating a school building for formal drills or incidents, all staff must follow the school's evacuation route detailed for each school building. This includes exiting 500 feet away from the building unless directed otherwise. Your school will have a designated evacuation site or rally point to go to. Teachers must bring classroom rosters to account for students. If you cannot return to your building after an evacuation, then you must proceed to the designated evacuation site or rally point. If there is a large school safety event in the district, Worcester Public Schools has a family reunification site in place to gather in the aftermath of that event. In closing, keeping our schools safe and secure every day is time consuming and requires constant vigilance. It is also the responsibility of the district administration to provide the necessary resources and training you need to be safe and confident in managing school safety. The superintendent of the Worcester Public Schools has authorized the district to conduct a school safety audit this coming year to evaluate our existing response system as a basis to recommend possible enhancements. Your input is welcomed and needed. We will let you know how to participate in this process. Remember, we are in this together. We also want to thank Principal Jeff Kramer for use of his building for developing this video. I want to thank you very much and stay safe this school year.